With three rows of seats and live handling, the 2023 Audi Q7 is a family SUV with some sports sedan in its DNA. It will satisfy those with high-end and high-tech taste, too, as its cabin is lined with premium materials and a host of digital goodies. A 261 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder is standard, as is an eight-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. A more powerful 335 horsepower turbocharged V6 is optional and unlocks the Q7's maximum 7,000 pound towing capacity. Even with the optional air suspension and rear wheel steering system. Norcars has compiled a review to know about 2023 Audi Q7. What's new for 2023? The Q7 inherits the more powerful 261 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder powertrain from the A4 sedan. This setup, used in models designated 45, has a 12-volt hybrid system. The Q7's fancy LED matrix headlamps are now optional on the Premium Plus trim and standard on the Prestige, the latter of which also receives a new remote parking feature. The convenience package in Premium and Premium Plus models now includes adaptive cruise control with lane cantering, and a new faux leather dashboard cover is now an option too. Waitomo Blue, Tamarind Brown, and Satellite Silver are new color choices this year. Pricing and which one to buy? The 2023 Audi Q7 price start from $60,395 for premium 45 trims, $64,295 for premium 55 trims, $64,495 for premium plus 45 trims, $68,495 for premium plus 55 trims, and $75,595 for prestige 55 trims. We think the 45's Turbo 4 powertrain is more than sufficient, and we'd pair it with the premium plus trim level. Moving from the base premium up to premium plus adds plenty of niceties, including a surround sound stereo system, a wireless phone charging pad, power folding exterior mirrors with memory settings, 20 inches wheels, ambient interior lighting, and illuminated dorsal inlays. We'd also spring for the new executive package, which adds, among other things, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, four zone automatic climate control, heated and ventilated 12-way power adjustable front seats, heated rear seats, and all-weather floor mats. Engine, transmission, and performance. A 261 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder with a 12-volt hybrid system is standard and should satisfy all but the most discerning drivers. Those seeking to maximize power will be more interested in the turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 that uses a 48-volt hybrid system to make 335 horsepower. When we tested a 2020 Q7 with the Turbo V6, we recorded a brisk 5.0 second time to 60 miles per hour, which was slightly quicker than what we saw with the mechanically similar two-row Q8 SUV. Despite its bulk, when the Q7 is fitted with the optional performance tires on 21 inches wheels, it feels low and lithe, like a pumped-up sport wagon. The adjustability of the optional air suspension, paired with the added agility of four-wheel steering, makes the Q7 surprisingly fun to flog down a twisty back road. It also rides quite smoothly. Fuel Economy and Real-World MPG the EPA fuel efficiency ratings for the V6, powered model are 17 MPG City, 21 MPG Highway, and 18 MPG combined. The turbo four-cylinder model is more efficient with ratings of 19 MPG City and 25 MPG Highway. When we are able to test drive a 2023 Q7, we'll put its efficiency to the test in our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test. We expect the four-cylinder Q7 to return results similar to those of the 2017 model we tested, which delivered 26 mpg on our 200-mile highway route. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo With its minimalist, contemporary design matched with loads of technology and excellent comfort and build quality, the cabin is a special place. 
beautiful materials and design highlight the Q7's interior, as do the intelligent layout of its controls and the comfortable seats that feature both ample support and adjustability. Entry-level premium versions come nicely outfitted, and the abundance of upscale features can get supremely luxurious in the higher trim levels. As with most three-row SUVs, there isn't a ton of cargo space in the Audi's cargo area when all its seats are in use. But its available space is comparable with its key rivals, and the rearmost row can be quickly raised or lowered via power controls, which makes up for the middle row's somewhat clumsy operation. With all seats stowed, the Q7 had room for 25 of our carry-on suitcases, 